Across the road from Parliament, a food poverty conference with universal credit at the top of the agenda. These women travelled from Newcastle, one of the areas where the benefit was first piloted. Penny Walters waited six weeks for her first universal credit payment, relying entirely on her daughter to help her through. How would you have managed, do you think? I wouldn't have done. I would have had to not pay bills. I would have not eaten. So it was a case of, you know, I wouldn't eat, probably even have enough money to buy a pint of milk to have a cup of tea. You know, having to wait six weeks is, it's not good. People shouldn't have to wait. Now, the government have already reduced that wait for most people to five weeks. But it's five still weeks five is still weeks. too long. <laughs> You've got bills coming out every four, every four weeks, you know, once a month. Uh, having to wait for that long with no money is still going to, to ruin lives. Because it, it, as the, the kind of pilot for it up in Newcastle, we've had so many issues. Um, with people who don't have enough money, don't have enough food, don't have enough uh, anything that they, they need to have. And I think to, to try and fix it would be brilliant because in the general scheme of things, it is a good idea. And one of the biggest challenges facing the government may be changing the benefits reputation. Learning firsthand that other people's experience, I'm really worried I don't want to go on universal credit. It sounds frightening, it sounds like you'll be in debt, you wouldn't have enough to eat. Some campaigners here are nervous about scrapping the benefit altogether, but they say it must be radically reformed. The government say it's getting people back into work. We're not saying that universal credit is completely, uh, irreversibly uh, broken. We think it has to be fixed, but it has to be fixed for the people who it is failing at the moment, and there's far too many of them across the country.